If you're like me, on some level, my hallucination is that you believe weed, your habits, your mind, your emotions, your cravings have more power over your actions than you do. But my sincere hope for you, as it is for me, is to really get that the power comes from choosing despite what seem like addictive forces to see and experience that, that those things are happening and to choose otherwise. We weren't always like this in terms of weed. There was one point in our lives where seeing a joint didn't cause this internal experience within us, one that many would call addiction. And it's the running of that internal experience without interruption and the separation from the ability to choose and the addictive process. There's, there's a, somewhere along the way, this piece got totally overrun by the other thing. And so, naturally, at first, this muscle, when it comes to weed, is not as available and is not as practiced. The internal experience, the human conditions, the biology, the chemistry, the thoughts, the emotions, those have more, are in more control than the other part of us that can say, no, I am not going to put my arm out and reach for the joint and put it up to my mouth and then light it up and inhale it and then exhale it and then do it again, right? Because that's all it is on an objective level. This is all it is. The human condition is such a grip thoughts, the emotions, the cravings, the world that we create for ourselves out here as well as in our heads, it's, and it's confusing. And then for me, you know, the more times I tried to quit but couldn't stop or couldn't figure out what it is that's going on, the more and more and more hopeless I felt to the addictive process. And so that's one part of it, realizing that you always have a choice and that you can choose to be at effect of the experience you're having that seems to be in control of you, I'm talking about the addiction, or you can choose to see it, feel it, and then choose another action. You can do it, you can. Now to assist in your integrity, in my integrity, in choosing power versus choosing addiction, I encourage you to have someone in your life hold you accountable to choosing power over choosing addiction. It could be someone a professional or it could be someone who truly, 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 truly will hold you to your word. I'll hold you to that word. I will. And I'll do that for anyone that asks me to as a result of watching this video because I want that for you, truly. Because I know what it's fucking like to be at the mercy of an addiction. And no matter how much I've read, even no matter how much awareness of the addiction process, it wasn't enough for me. It's not worth your life to be overrun by an addiction, a weed addiction, a food addiction, a TV addiction, any kind of addiction that doesn't serve you, it's not fucking worth it. And if not now, then when? When will you decide to be serious enough to choose power over addiction? Get your power back. Get it back. Get it fucking back. All right? Choose power over addiction and, and, and slowly over time, this will have less of a grip on you and you'll realize that this is you not this this is you you forgot <laughs> you forgot it's all good the power doesn't go away it's always there you've been giving this the power all right that's it signing out day six i'll see y'all tomorrow peace